How's it going? Um, so yeah, this is Maelstrom just came out on Early Access, uh, late yesterday, I think? And it's just a kind of a pirate ship, well, fantasy pirate ship, because you got humans, orcs, and, uh, dwarves, all with their own different types of, uh, ships. And kind of play styles like dwarves are the slow tanky, um, they can shoot from all sides, so they're kind of cool that way. Orcs are all about the ramming and the boarding, there are boarding actions, and then humans are, you know, the all-arounders, because they always are. Um, so currently three different ship types per ship. I've been rolling with the orcs. We got like a, a rammer here with this giant spike in the front. This ship is unique in that it can board from the front. Most ships have to board from the side, so that's kind of neat. And as you play, you gather money, and with that money, you can either buy more ships or upgrade the ship you currently have, which will eventually unlock different buffs to your ship and stuff. Um, and apparently we have to acquire this captain from a battle. Um, so right now I am captainless, but there are captains, there are mates that you can earn in battle, which increase your ship as well. Um, each ship has its own kind of ability. Where's the Skaven? Where's your rat ships? Sorry, Gar, there are no Skaven in this one. That would be pretty cool, though. I will, I will appreciate that. Uh, what up, Pork? How's it going? And uh, just to show you what it's like, I'm going to do a solo versus bot real quick. Just kind of explain the mechanics, and also this will probably be the only match I win. Um... But this game also has, like, a Battlegrounds mechanic where the play space is going to shrink. And instead of a blue wall, it is going to be filled with giant sea creatures that will kill you if you stay outside in the well, bad space, we'll call it. Every single map has a giant maelstrom, which the play space is going to eventually surround. So everybody, if you're still alive, are going to be fighting in this giant maelstrom in the middle. There are NPC ships that have just like generic things, like this one over here, which is wind something script. There's like a goblin raider and other things. And from these ships and other player ships, if you destroy them, you can get buffs from them, which make you uh, stronger. So that's kind of the way that you get stronger in the match. But, you know, this is against bots, so. Um, three different sh You know, actually, hold on. Let me turn down the audio. I'm sure it's kind of loud. Okay. Um, so three different types of shots. Number one is a normal shot that deals damage to the armor and the hull. Armor is your white bar on that ship. Hull is the... <clears throat> well, they're dead. Because uh, that's the NPC. And there's some buffs we can pick up. There's also Grape Shot, which is going to take out a person's sails. Not every ship has sails. Like right here, this ship has no sails, so we can't use Grape Shot against it to make it slower. It's just always going to be the same speed that it always is. And then Grape Shot, which is going to destroy the crew. To make it easier for like boarding actions. So those three different types of shots. And again, this just can spot, so it's not that hard. Every single firing arc has its own um, reload time. So you can just kind of, you know, fire on all three sides if you want to, or four sides if you're a dwarf. And the ship type I'm currently am has a lot of good ramming damage from the front. So ideally you want to try and ram a ship with the front side, like that, and break its armor. There we go, we have sunk it. There's an actual bot using a, like a player ship. Everything else has been, uh oh, I'm in the maelstrom. Get out of that maelstrom. Everything else has been basically like uh, NPC ships. I did! So this orc ship here that I'm playing as, it actually gets a boost of speed whenever it's hit. So I guess, you know, if you hit it on the way in, it's going to ram you. Just, boop, there we go. So you also notice that my armor is on the left side as well as around my ship itself. This little white pips. Armor will regenerate. Right now we're in a boarding action. That's why we can't move. That NPC boarded us. Um, so if you go out of combat, which you have to stop firing and stop getting shot at for a little while, then your ship's hull and, like, sails, everything will start regenerating, basically. It's like right now, we should not be in combat, so our hull is going to start regenerating. So, you know, if you're looking pretty bad, you can just get out of there. Is this a Warhammer-related game? No. No, it is not. Now, as you can see in the mini-map in the bottom right, the play field has started to um, shrink. Oh, man, I may actually die here. Hold on. I got to get away from this guy. Let's go to the Maelstrom. Use this to speed us up. And go. There we go. We're okay. So we gotta stay out of combat and let our hull and our armor repair. But anyway, 
So the red lines are going to be continually uh, decreasing the size of the playfield eventually until it's going to come to the maelstrom in the middle. Again, kind of like PUBG. Let's go grab all these buffs. What up, Alyssa? How's it going? What up, Kazet? Yar har har. And you'll see that all of our health is regenerating there on the left side. So against actual matches with players, I have been getting crushed. I'm just going to be honest with you. I've been sucking at this game. Let's try some grape shot here. Ramming speed! Also, the um, the orc ships are all pulled by these giant like shark things, which I think is pretty sweet. I mean, that's pretty cool. Let's go back to that dwarf ship. Hey, thanks for those, car. Grab some more buffs. Missed. You can see the current amount of buffs that we have below my ship and the UI on the left side. So we have four armor buffs, three speed buffs, and two cannon damage buffs. And you can only have so many. I, I think maybe it's five? I don't believe they stack forever. Oh my god, the left side of my ship is just gone. Let's try and use this maelstrom to maybe go around and get some ramming speed going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Prepare to walk. Walk! And now we're gone. Now we're gone. Now we're gone. Ooh. Do it again. The sea smells of death. So the playing field... Oh, I guess it doesn't go around the maelstrom. Never mind. I thought it always did. So right now we are in a zone that's about to be overtaken by bad creatures. So we want to get the hell out of here. Also, you're going to notice that there is parts of the ocean that are like these white roads, basically. You travel faster if you go along the current. Slower if you go against it. But we gotta get out of that bad zone. See those giant red things in the bottom right? Yeah, those are the creatures. So the AIs, they're, they're kind of dumb, so they're just dying to the giant creature. Out there in no man's land. Uh, I don't probably want to mess with that. I mean, I guess we can. It's a bot match. Why not? What does this do? That's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. Um, not gonna lie. Woo! Holy crap, you got a lot of cannons. I'm guessing it's a bad time if that thing catches up to you. What up, buddy? How's it going? How are you doing? Let me not get hit by you. How about that? How about you go after that other ship? Board! Oh, God. This may be bad. This may be bad. So while you're bored, you can also still fire your cannons. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Get the, get the NPC ship. Get the NPC ship. Get him. You're not even doing anything, you're just sitting there. What? Okay, it did something. I think definitely did something. Holy shit. Oh man, I'm in a bad spot. I'm in a bad spot. I'm in a bad spot, friends. I gotta get out of the, the dark water. Get out of the dark water. Get out of the dark water, they're coming. They're coming. Look at that giant fit. Anyway, that's kind of how the matches go. I think if a monster catches up to you, you're basically dead. Maybe some ships are fast enough to dodge them. I'm not sure, but it's it's a bad time. All right, so let's actually go to a real fight where the match is going to probably last a lot quicker. 
because I am not good at this game yet. My war screen never fails to make you laugh. <laughs> ah! So this is like the player lobby. Wait for the ships to come in. Yeah, it's kind of it's, it's fun. Oh, what up, Sile? What up, Sheridan? Hello, Brutus. Board. Beautiful, yes. So, like, it's always been official to board an enemy's like fore or aft. Yeah, that's right. Nautical terms, motherfucker. Um, because if you board it from the aft or the fore, and you have your side facing them. Then they're not gonna have as many cannons firing during the boarding action as you are. Because, like, all ships broadsides are more powerful than their front cannons or rear cannons that they have. At least that's what it seemed like so far. Is there any team play? Um, I think there is actually a party system. I. We'll check when we get back to the main menu. But I believe there is a party system, yes. But currently, I don't know anybody who owns the game, so I couldn't test it. Get away from me. No! What up, Elena? Yeah, it's like 17 bucks right now, Gar. It's on sale. It is early access, so I don't know how much further it's going to go in development. I don't know what their other plans are. Ooh, okay. So that is an NPC. We want to try and take that out quickly. And get his boofs. Ramming speed! There's another NPC up there, too. Get that buff. Get that buff. Let's travel on the current. Another one! Holy crap! Lucky! Because it looks like this ship that is ideal for ramming could just take this out in one shot. Okay, that's an actual player. But we do have some boofs. That's another ramming ship right there. I don't know where the heck it's they're going. But I mean I'll fire at them. If they're gonna go and present them their backside. There's another player. Oh apparently there's a player behind me. We are all ramming ships. That's a bigger orc ship behind us. Here! Oh god, oh god. Let's see if we can take out some of its sails. Slow it down a little bit. Got some sail damage. So we're gonna start slowing it down. What up, Slowbreaker? I don't know why this player keeps running. More sail damage? Come on! I gotta keep the pressure up or else they're gonna repair. You can see it's repairing in combat. It repairs more out of combat, but... Oh, they're gonna get that buff. Let me try and see if I can get this armor buff. Lower sails, quicker turn. Let's go. Wait, I missed the armor. What the hell? <gasps> Goblin Raider. What? Boarding action. 
That's actually a pretty powerful ship we just boarded onto. This may have been a bad idea. May have been a bad idea. The right side of my armor is completely gone. It looks like their right side is gone too. The left side is gone as well. Fuck. Oh, do they have rear cannons on that thing? I've never seen a human ship with rear cannons. Shoot. All right, well, we're dead. That thing was uh, a tanky ship. Damn, they got all my stuff. That's it. Is the ship more powerful because of the out-of-match progression system? Um, well, ships can definitely be more powerful if you just put a lot of money into them, yeah. Yeah, the bigger ships are tankier, you know, small ships are faster. I probably should just try and run away. But yeah, like right now we can upgrade our ship by spending a bunch of money on it. So now it's level 2 and we get Razorfin Rudders, which increases our turn rate. And at level 3 we can unlock um, ramming resistance, which would be kind of neat. More cannons. And our unique at level 10... The more damage the hull is taken, the faster the ship cannons reload. Is this thing's unique. I have also unlocked this bigger orc ship. Uh, this is the one that can board from the front. Uh, we can put this out, I guess. Also, here's, yeah, party system. So, yeah, there is a party. I don't know how many people can go into a party. But there definitely is a party. Hey, what up, Patty? This is like World of Warships. I mean, if World of Warships was cool, sure. So yeah, you can see now we can board from the front. I forgot to mention our uh, crew strength is on the bottom left. It's the red bar. I would just go out in the open sea. And by open sea, I mean sea in between islands. We out! What up, Dwarf? So the level 2 upgrade for this ship is increased sails. So I guess it's harder to slow us down. Try and ram me, sucker. No, they ran me. Hey, what up? Boom, jump. See, I'm not really entirely sure what the strat is right now. I guess as a bigger ship, you want to try and destroy smaller ship sails, probably, so we can actually keep up with them. Slow them down so that we can then board from the front or something. Not that we actually take damage in this lobby right now. Boarding action! I am part of a four-way here. This is not cool. Did not agree. Come here, Galleon. I wonder if we can just ram this thing. 
Oh, okay. Easy enough. Ooh, there's a player. I would prefer to try and get this Goblin Raider first. Try and get some more upgrades. Oh, looks like the upgrades go along with the current. That's kind of fun. Speed upgrade, I think? So someone is already dead. Oh, boy. Hey, what up, buddy? No, 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 come here. Boarding action! Try and kill some of its crew right now. This is silly. But my front armor is still pretty good. Theirs are not though. So I'm going to win this engagement. Because their front armor is entirely gone. So now we're getting into their hall points. I don't know if this player realizes that. Oh wait, or am I going to die? There we go. Alright. I was about to be like, their front armor went down much quicker than mine. The thing is, we kind of got to stay out of combat for a little bit. Oh, God! Not good. Not good. I cannot allow my front to get hit. Let's try and destroy their sails if we can. Alright, we took out half their sails, so they should be pretty slow. So now we should be faster than them, I think. I did not mean to do a boarding action there. Trying to take out their crew. Oh crap, oh crap. Sorry buddy, it was a nice fight, but I gotta go. I wonder if we slowed them down enough so that they can't even escape the bad zone right now. What was that, the Walking Bread was their name? Alright, we can't do um, sail shots on that thing, it's, it's a dwarf. Uh, okay. I guess we're in a boarding action now. It's not good. It's not good. Only my left side has armor right now. Oh my god, another play? Jesus! I just got hit by three different people. One after the other. That sucks. Not much you can do in that situation. It was just like I got boarded by the dwarf, I think. And then I got hit by another work ship, and then that human ship or another work ship came in. It just finished me off. Six thousand is the next upgrade. My god. Okay. Let's try a dowie ship then. Great armor, armor directional fire, poor crew, poor maneuverability. Look at this tiny thing. Low profile, good armor, good speed, mediocre firepower, and mediocre crew. Great firepower, good arm armor. Hmm. Cannonballs knock ships back. Bully balls. Increase repairs when ship is not in combat. 
Increased acceleration and deceleration can switch from forward to reverse quickly. Hmm. Let's go for the tanky ship. Is this trains on water? Sure. See, now we got omnidirectional firing suckers. Two in the front, or two in the back, two in the front. Three on the sides. Okay. These things just like sailing for That's kind of weird that we can go backwards though. What the hell? That's so weird. Huh. Interesting. Take care, Axel. So we're just like, whoop, and now you're on our backside. Cool. Back it up, back it up. Boarding actions seem very dangerous when there are multiple players around. Can we just ram again? Nope. That works though. I want that wind catcher skiff. I see a player to my right. <laughs> oh my god. The Twitch names. Uh, did I get stopped by a rock? Like, what the hell? Yeah, I guess I'm on a rock. What up, dude? All right, we're taking out the sail. turning now we should be repairing we don't want to get into combat right now now I think we're in a fog of war right now repair 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 let me go grab this loot NPCs. 
More boofs? Switch. Oh no, oh no, this is bad, this is bad. I gotta get out of here. Let's get these buffs and get the hell out. Thank you for the walk, kid. Get the hell out of here. I still don't really want to go into combat, though. My armor is not fully repaired. I wouldn't mind taking this buff, though. Turn, need to turn, need to turn. Not good, not good. Oh, this is dangerous. No, nah, there's no fully armored fucking dwarf ship over here. Oh no, not good. I am not gonna make it out. Like, there's too many ships. Yeah. Ugh. I wonder if the strat is just like, don't engage people. I don't know, I, mean, I guess we were doing pretty good early game, but I got crushed at the end. I looked around, I saw all those ships like at full health. I was like, oh my god, I am doomed. So what's like the humans thing? Great firepower? Grants a cannonball damage bonus for a brief time after fully reloading the ship's cannons. Interesting. Grants speed boost when the ship is not in combat. Increased cannon range, velocity, and firing delay. The farther the target, the more damage dealt. That's interesting. Uh, thanks for the wow, kid. Hmm. I mean, I guess we can give one of these a try. So this is a long range fighter? Why not? It appears that thanks to the low profile and rapid turning abilities, dwarves are sneaky ambush. Are they sneaky? So many cannonballs, holy crap. That is pretty accurate at long range, holy crap. I like this is just like a flying cat or a sailing castle. That damage! Holy shit! Like the cannonballs for the dwarves, they had three on a side, and each one done like 40-ish. This thing just pumps the damage up. Ah, 
That's cool. So we can get dwarf power in terms of cannonballs, but it has to be a very long range. And this ship even has omnidirectional firing. So some of these people actually have captains? Like, that's the captain ability right there. I would also like a captain, please. Get shelled! How about we go? Oh, Jesus. Hey, what up? Max range is around here. Got a crit? ship definitely does not want to like skirmish us we do because we do insane damage problem is we can't make it slower of it. You really need to present your other side to me, buddy. Crap. Ooh, that was in my hole. That was in my hole. Final volley? Shit. We got another dwarf ship coming in. Not good. I don't really want these buffs. Crap. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that dwarf ship. Get that dwarf ship. I need to go. I need to go. I need I need this river. This river within the ocean. No, 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 no. 
Really? It went, it swam right next to the dwarf ship. It swam right next to it. And then it went for me. Yeah, there we go. Did it get the dwarf ship? It got that dwarf ship. F you, dwarf ship. Gosh darn it. I was almost at that river that was going to take me out of there. Gosh darn it. God, 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 God. That's why I got Rex now. Paid for your greed? It's not a greed. Well, I mean, I guess it was because I wanted the upgrades. I needed those upgrades, Boomjaw. I fought for like five minutes. I'm more like two, probably, but I wanted those upgrades. This ship seems cool. Increase sight range and sail hit points. Sure. Acquire from battle. She looks cool. Little pirate. Or parrot. Loose Morgan's Phoenix. All ships caught in its path will catch fire. Sailing in the Phoenix's wake increases ship speed. Interesting. Ah! Man, it's a long fight. So this ship is probably going to suck against, like, fast movers. I need to definitely knock out their sails. If you are a human, so is it not better to rum dwarves? That is all about ha that cannon? Dwarves are not all about the cannon. Like, this ship does more damage than the dwarf ship does. This ship's all about the cannon. I need to maintain distance, and that's about it. Hey, there's that ability! See, so yeah, they have a captain. Why don't I have a captain? What up, my Venus? Damn, you can use it again already? I wonder if we just have to kill a person who has the captain, and then, like, take the captain. I wonder if that's how you do it. Oh no. We have run aground. All those shots like this. We're only gonna have seven people? Oh man. Out of 15. Oh man, pink fluffy unicorn and Fang. Hey, Shadow Fang's here. I got a couple shots in. Let me go grab this loot. That little ship just like peace out. I don't know if there's anyone hiding in there, but thought maybe why not? Fire a volley. Shit. Pink Fluffy Unicorn is gone. Let me go over here.
Pink Puffa Uni- Wait, I thought Pink Puffa, Puffa Unicorn was dead. We need to slow down Pink Fluffy Unicorn. That little ship is destroying me. Wow. Okay. And then there comes the full health ship. Man. Uh. Oh, you know, I probably could have tried to board them. Yeah, that, that little ship just destroyed all of us. I tried slowing it down. Like, a lot of my initial volleys I thought were going to hit, but I don't. I guess they didn't. Reduces in, income, enemy, critical hit, chance, and damage. Oh, that seems kind of cool. I like the ship, though. Thanks, Elena. Yeah, if I aborted it, that would have been better. I'll try to remember that this time. Tower guns from Robocraft? Yeah, I remember. I remember the tower guns version 1.0, 2.0, 3.0. It was just a tower of guns. Claw. There's, uh, I guess, the fast moving Dowie ship? People have been able to see me in there. I guess. Ooh, damage buff. Let's go grab this money. I heard someone else grab money. Oh shit. Oh man, I just missed that. Be out here hanging out. I want to weaken the uh, other ship first.
There we go. Everyone gets a volley. Oh, dude, you gotta stop running into the rocks, man. Oh, this person coming in. I'm gonna get those buffs, dude. Damn. Try and take my buffs. I work off for my buffs. Oh my god, I just got like all the things. I saw some kind of skip or something. There you are. Come here, my little friend. Six players left. There's some of them. Oh man, I don't know if I want to get in the middle of this. We just kind of want to weaken people. Kill this person who's just running around in circles. Oh, what the hell? I okay, so they dragged me into the maelstrom. Sneaky. I gotta kinda get out of this combat. Just like what they're doing. I don't think this dwarf ship is gonna let me run. Oh, maybe they will. Oh, no, 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 we're gonna be a coward. We're gonna basically pull like a punchy move. We're gonna hide in the bathtub. For a little bit. Okay, that's not good. Just gonna hide here for a little bit. Sing some uh, sea shanties. 
Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum and all that stuff? Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Dark water closing in. But we gotta take this time to heal as much as we can. We still got a little time and we have a little road right here, so we can get out of here pretty quickly. Probably wanna get out of here. We have so much armor to reach in though, my god. Oh, our old friend is still alive. Oh! Oh! Almost made it. Hey, what up, Rose? How's it going? 